Candy, it's nice to meet you. I'm Phoenix Candy, welcome. Phoenix! Phoenix, yeah. Wow, Phoenix, so nice to meet you. So we're getting ready for games night tonight. Candy's just come because I'm playing some Damien Rice. <laughs> and we have a thunderstorm. So it started thundering about an hour ago or two hours ago. Then lightning and now we're getting our first drops of rain. Which should mean goodbye Bernie season. Oh, so nice, you enjoy the music. Yeah. Are you going to join us? Do you want to play games, board games? No, not for you, not for you. Okay, well, lovely meeting you, Candy. Come back sometime. I'm, I'm here every day, eight till six. Okay. And some evenings as well. Lovely meeting you. I'm the neighbor there. Yeah, you live next door. Great. I'll see you tomorrow, no doubt. Yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Candy. Great meeting you. Nothing to yard you sing with me. So we have our first event of a teak house. We have a games night. I was not expecting this many people to turn up. Wow, yeah, two uh, two of the ladies in there put it on. And yeah, there's about, I don't know, there's about 12 people in. Fantastic, I've just had to make my first gin and tonics. I had no idea what to charge. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do some Googling now and find out the price. But yeah, very exciting, really nice night. Thanks to all that have come. And yeah, if anyone else wants to come down, I think we'll be here for about another hour. So yeah, lots of fun is being had by all. We have, uh, yeah, I'm doing cheap drinks, uh, cheap organic cannabis, and yeah, just fun. Famous speciality dish in North Thai. North Thai. <laughs> <laughs> You're not meant to shout. <laughs> Who invited you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So we're having a quiz night. Here's Quiz Master Rachel. <laughs> It's the morning after the night before, and wow, I did not expect that. We were sat there at eight o'clock with the two ladies that organized it, Rachel and Tina, and myself. And I was like, listen, if no one turns up, it's absolutely fine. I really appreciate you doing this. And we were like, no, no, five people are coming. Anyway, you know, 15 people came, I think, in total. And some people even walked in at like half 11 or something. And one of those people was amazing and does loads of amazing things and wants to bring them all to the teak house. And he's just totally my kind of guy. So much fun, so open, can't offend him. Brilliant man. Um, also a 20 year cannabis grower who said my weed is the best he's seen in pie and he said my platinum kush is the best he's ever seen. And he said the fact that I'm paying slightly more than most shops is uh, to get an exclusivity agreement with this incredible grower that I've got is a very wise decision he said. So yeah, really good feedback. But yeah, in terms of the night, yeah, we, I took about 2,000 bar in drinks and it was just fun and beautiful, really good connection. Oh, and it was really interesting because you know, I'm not really interested in socializing in groups. I like one-on-one, -on -one, you know, I like, and, um, and I'm really starting to honor that. Like, you know, I've beaten myself up for a long time. Like, oh, why don't I want to socialize in groups? But I just realized it's just not for me. And I was like sat on the barrel, just watching everyone connecting and getting so much joy from watching people connect way more than if I was involved in the conversations. Um, and then every now and again, someone would ask me a question and I'd swoop in and like, just go bump and go deep with them. And then I'd go back out and, and then let the chit chat start again. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, it's just beautiful, like really finding my way and really seeing how I can hold the space now. And in my last place, it was similar to this. You know, I would, I'd interrupt people's conversations and I'd be like, no, 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 this is, this is the truth. <laughs> but now I just let people be and just, and if someone asks me, then, then I speak. Um, but yeah, really starting to realize that my tongue is, is very powerful. It's, it's, it's very inspirational and it's very destructive. And I need to be the last person that speaks because when I speak, that's the end of it. And um, 
it's too much. If I'm the first person to speak like I used to be, then it's too much for people. And if I do it unsolicited, it's too much for people. But if people are ready for it and ask for it, then it's loved and appreciated and respected and honoured. So yeah, it's really, that's really landing now. So yeah, looking forward to the next event. I think we're going to do the same event uh, next week. I think it's, it's just it depends if Rachel's still going to be in Paris. She's you know, traveling, uh, but we think she will be. And yeah, Rachel did such an amazing job and Tina, like just amazing. But Rachel, uh, the quiz in particular, like seeing her stepping into that, because that was big for her, you know, like it's, it's you know, it's, it's an anxiety inducing experience standing up and speaking. And to watch her do it so well and, and to grow during it and like to get louder and more confident and yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, going back to that, I'm the last person to step in. So for the quiz, like she, it was clear we needed two groups. And Rachel explained it and, and she was a bit quiet and people didn't really hear and they all ended up sitting individually. And Rachel was about to start because it was easier to just do that than try and explain again. But I was like, nah, people are going to hate that, you know, we need them in groups, it needs to be a social event, like, they're going to be together for an hour, like, they don't want to be on their own for an hour, that's not what the Teak House is about, we're not about separating people. So then I came in and loudly explained it, and everyone was just like, oh, right, yeah, great, and got it straight into groups. And that's, you know, that's what I'm talking about, like, yes, when things are going awry, I need to step in, but if things aren't going awry, I just let them flow, and let people be, and let people be however they want to be, you know. So yeah, lots of learnings from that night. Really grateful for that night. Yeah, beautiful. Ah, I've been waiting for this young man to come back in. Louis, you are an inspiration. How's it going, brother? Hello, hello. Yeah, very well. <laughs> what do you think Too of a teak house? So, I came here initially, right, and it said half price weed, and I thought this man was, was off his nut. I, didn't, I thought he was lying to me. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's, I come in here, I'm, I'm looking at the prices. The prices are already great as they are. And then he actually tells me they're half price. And I'm like, no <laughs> way. We sit down, smoke a joint. Man telling me all about his life. What a true <laughs> God. His soul, his soul is interesting as fuck. And yeah. I'm out here and I only come here to get my weed now. Boutique house in Pi. Making my, because I'm solo traveling and I'm only 18, right? And I'm not with my friends. So meeting, meeting men like this who are doing good in their soul and also selling good fucking bud, which I need, is just a win win. So. Honestly, all praise, all praise to fucking Phoenix. No, Watch a bit of his vlog. I need to watch more of these vlogs though, but look at this. Which is your favourite weed? To be honest, OG. What have you had so far? You've had OG, 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 OG that's growing on me more and more every day, mate. It's becoming it's one like of my favourites. Like, yeah. um, it's got a like, deep sort of taste. I mean, yeah. I'll get a gram. At first, I was all about the Cherry Cosmo and the yeah, Skittles, but recently more uh, the OG Kush. I'm a boobery man. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, what are you going? Get a gram in the gram? Yeah, of course, man. Literally. I might as well turn this into a strains <laughs> video. So yeah, we have Stardog, Jelly Beth, Strawberry and Banana Cream, Gelato Cookie, Crescendo. Pineapple Haze. Crescendo? I can't even say it. Crescendo? Crescendo, RBX. RBX, really You had that one? Yeah, it's really good, that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'll take, I mean... Moneymaker. The Booby's good. Like, so basically, that's like Blueberry in England is, is the way I see that. Yeah, I mean, England's got the most shit. So I don't want to start grinding about it. <laughs> I was going to say talk about the difference, yeah, but yeah, there's no need. So I used to smoke herbs with my weed, and then I, I ditched it when I came out here. There was no need anymore. All right, thanks for that was amazing. Yeah, I, I, wish, uh, I mean, first time on YouTube, I don't really fucking... Oh, you're born to be a YouTuber. If, well, it's not everyone's path, man, but you're, you're born to shine in whatever way that is. Think. Oh, there's no think about it, mate. Look at you. Like, you're already smashing it on a 3D level, it's just about, like I was saying, going internal now. Yeah, anyway. The thing I remembered you said, you can get the external very easily. Well, you someone like you can, not everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. someone like me can, yeah. And I, can, I actually got that, but then you can't always get the internal. Well, you, you can, it's open to everyone, but not everyone chooses yeah, yeah, to go there. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. where the real gifts are. Yeah. And, like, we won't obviously go into details, but what you were saying about your career, like, yes, it's amazing financially, but yeah. if you want to turn your, if you want to earn money for purpose, then you have to go internal. Of course. Yeah, that's what I mean, because you said, because um, I was like, okay, I actually do have all the external things, and one point I do, mm. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, saving this, but I'm buying this, it's like, sure, I'm happy as fuck, like, I'm on holiday and everything, but there's a lot of work to... You're not really happy there. Well, sorry, I won't make it about you, this isn't about you, but I, I believe people in your situation, they are, <laughs> they're, they're happy externally, like, their life looks great, but internally, they are constantly running away from themselves. So, well, this is my story anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was driving a Porsche, I lived in a big house, I was going on holiday 20 times a year, whatever, yeah. but I was constantly in anxiety, or maybe not constantly in anxiety, but it would be there every morning and every night. Yeah. But, but, but more than that, it was a, 
why am I alive? What am I supposed to be doing? You know, there was this constant like question of like, am I doing it right? That was it, more am I doing it right? Where now I, <laughs> well, it's been completely surrendered and curious to everything and open to anything changing at all times. I have an unshakable knowing that yeah. I am walking the right path that I came here to walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's what I'm yeah, talking I'm about. I'm trying to get on on a, le on a level like that, but then yeah. again, I do like I do well, but I'm so caught up in just fucking just a quick dopamine hit. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone yeah. else is doing it, and it's but fine. Yeah, it's it. fine. It's just, it's fucking well, I feel like you're ready for more, but but it was, from my point of view, it's like. I, I I only open this door. I only I only show people this door if 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 I feel they're ready for it, yeah. and that's why I'm talking to you like this. Yeah. Uh, but it's up to you when you open that door. Yeah. You know, it's completely up to you. So, for example, I'm going to be starting a men's group here. I really think you should come. Yeah. Um, but you know, just hanging around in here, mate. You've come in here for a reason. You know, we're having this conversation for a reason. Yeah. All right, I'll switch the camera off, bro. Love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was on. You're fucking good at filming. I didn't know. <laughs>